Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the Happy Heathen. I was reminded of a story I did a long time ago. Part of this is a small part of a greater video I did. This is the finest example of why I became an anti-theist at the age of 13. Luxon, I don't give a care if you believe in imaginary friends. As long as you stay out of government and leave science alone. Fucking do what you like. Have your holidays. Have your parades. Just don't inflict yourself on others. Moving on. This story is about three brothers who contracted AIDS through treatment for their hemophilia. Their blood did not clot. And trust me, back in the 80s, this was a one hot button issue. The ignorance of the ignorant masses thought it was God's punishment against gays. I became aware of this story back then by watching the Sunday morning with Charles Carrot, where they had interviews with people leaving church and saying just that. Looking back at it, I want to do some math and explain, re-examine exactly why I became an anti-theist. Let's say for argument's sake that only 3% of the city of Arcadia was bomb-throwing assholes. These people used religion as an excuse to do what they would like to do and couldn't do without support in it under any other circumstance. This was God's pun AIDS was God's punishment against them queers as uh, so they believed. As we know from the Milgram experiment, otherwise known as the obedience experiment, in which they discovered that the atypical person, 60% of the people in this video, in this uh, experiment, was so pacified, so eager to follow an authority figure, and so cow easily cowed into doing things that went against their nature. They actually thought they were pushing a button that electrocuted someone else in another room for every time they made a wrong answer on a test. They pushed that button until they thought they killed somebody. So, let's say, in addition to that 3% that is vile bomb-throwing assholes, there's 60% of the city of Arcadia was just too afraid, too human, to do anything. Or to say no into helping these bomb-throwing assholes. And to prove that I'm not irrationally insane, let's say 2% was the damn good Christians who was just outnumbered and couldn't stop the 63% from running this family out of, this, out of the town and out of the county. That leaves 35% of the good Southern Christians who couldn't figure out which side to be on. 35% of the town was torn. Gee, God hates gay people, so maybe I should be throwing a bomb. Or, would God really want me to throw the bomb? Newsflash, assholes. If God is worth, if, well, one, if, if God is real and he's worth having reverence and wor worship, for, worship for, he wouldn't want you to throw the bomb. And if God does want you to throw the bomb, 
Why would you want that God? I know a lot of people you are listening to this and saying, well, that happened in the 80s. Same mentality happens now. In my video at Death in Texas, an entire church congregation watched as a child died of starvation because they thought it was possessed by demons. And they were going to pray the child back to life. In Idaho, there's a cemetery full of 150 kids who could have been saved. But mom and dad wanted faith healing. And people wonder why we become anti-theist and fucking atheists. Links down below. Goodbye.